today we're going to be looking at algebraic expressions and focusing on expanding brackets. Firstly, we're going to be looking at single brackets. This is when you have just one set of brackets multiplied by a single number or letter on the outside. So here we've got b plus c plus d, all times by a. So when you times a by everything inside the bracket, you get ab plus ac plus ad. To make it look more simple, I've put numbers in there. Just substituting numbers instead of letters. And firstly, we're going to do AB, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. AC, 2 times 2, which is 4. And AD, which is 2 times 3, which is 6. Add them all together as it says, and you get 12 altogether. Now that's the most simple out of all the ones we're going to be looking at today. Uh, second one is double brackets. So there's two sets of brackets multiplied together. And the way I work this out is called the smiley face method. You'll see why when I set it out. So again, I've substituted numbers instead of letters. And I draw lines just to make it look more clear, make sure I've not left any numbers out. So 1 times 3, which is 8 times C, which is 3. 1 times 4, which is 8 times D, which is 4. 2 times 3, 6. And 2 times 4, which is 8. So as you can see with my lines, it kind of looks like a smiley face, I suppose if you squint your eyes a bit. <laughs> but that's what I got taught it was called anyway. Add them all together, and you get 21. This one's quite simple, as long as you make sure you don't skip out any letters. As long as you draw the lines, you won't skip any letters out anyway. Right, our next one's called squared brackets. This is just one bracket times by itself. Uh, this is the one that most people get wrong, just because when you do squares, they'll separate it out. You'll see later on. This one, make sure you write it out as two double brackets. And again, we could just do the smiley face method with this. So although it looks complicated there, ignore that. Just watch your workings out. Substitute numbers in instead. And write it out as two separate brackets. And do the smiley face method, remembering the lines. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we've not missed any letters out there. Add them all together, 25. So it's a lot more simple than it originally looks. This is how people usually write it, which is what I was talking about earlier. Don't separate them out. Make sure you write the two separate brackets and do the smiley face method just so that you, you know, remember. Right, so this is when it gets a bit more complicated. I've added x, y, z just because I ran out of letters. Um, and this is just longer brackets, so it's double brackets, but it's just long. And this way, you just you're still times in everything inside one bracket by everything inside another bracket. It's more simple to add out this way. So here you can see we've times the a by everything in the second bracket, b times everything in the second bracket, and c times everything in the second bracket, and added them all together. So to put that into context, substitute numbers in, 1 to 6. And again, I draw lines just to make it more simple, make sure I've not missed out any letters of numbers. Right, 1 times 4, 1 times 5, and 1 times 6. We're timesing all of the second bracket by 1, which of course is written like that. And we're timesing all the second bracket by 2, and timesing it all by 3. So once you've written it out like that, we can then work it out. So 1 times 4, 1 times 5, 1 times 6, plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 6 is 12. Put them all on. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 6 is 18. Let's add all of them on. Add them all together, and 90. So again, that looks more complicated than it actually is. Once you've had a bit more practice, you kind of get used to it. Now, this is the most complicated that we're going to look at today. And it's just lots of brackets together. It could be three, it could be four, five, six. It keeps going. But the way I do this is I do the first two together. So do the smiley face method with the two, first two. And then add in the third one. Right, so that looks complicated, but we'll give an example. 
so added again one to six in the brackets and so first I'm going to do the smiley face method on the first two brackets so pretend the third bracket's not there so one times three one times four two times three and two times four write that all out so now we've got two brackets now again this is just timesing everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket so all we're doing is 3 times 5, 4 times 5, 6 times 5, 8 times 5, which is 15, 20, 30 and 40. And then the same again with 6, so 3 times 6, 4 times 6, 6 times 6 and 8 times 6. So as you can see here, every single thing, is, every single number has got a line going to it. So we know that we've not missed out any numbers. And that's 18, 24, 36 and 48. Add them all together. And you've got 231. Now, I think for most of these, it's just the overwhelming look. When you actually look at them, they look more complicated than they actually are. Practice definitely makes perfect. Check the bio below for practice questions.